Good evening and welcome back once again. So we're already into the thick of the action in Season 3. We had a win in our first league match. It was close in the end, 2-1, although we did dominate the game. And the second match today against Valencia made a few changes to the lineup. Mudrick has come in for Martinelli on the left. Getson has retained his position but is a little bit further forward. Herrera's back in that deeper line midfield role. Teixeira and Debushi have come in at wing backs. They're the youngsters. Kosanu has come back in. Omarajic has stayed in because he's on and up. And Schubert continues in goal. And yeah, the opening match against Mallorca in the league, we absolutely dominated. They only had one shot on goal and scored. Ended up 2-1. Shouldn't have been as close as it was. But very good performance. Our squad is looking extremely strong now. Now the transfer window will end uh, after this game. Well, a few days after this game. So I'll keep you updated of anything that happens after this. That'll be in this video. Diaby, Castro. Oh, nearly... Nearly took the lead already. Let's have a quick look at that. Very good play. Gedson into DRB. Nice little pass. Good touch. Just a bit too central. And Vieira will take over. Corner kick duties while Cousins isn't in the team. Oh, what a header that was from Kosanu. Lovely header. We don't often score from corners. Perfectly weighted pass and a lovely directed header. Brilliant. And Costin here back into the into the lineup. He would have been disappointed not to start that first match. We had Lovato and Omaragic in defence. It's only because Costner was a bit tired after the uh, the three Super Cup games. If you're not aware of those, if you're caught up or you missed the videos, we uh, started the campaign with the UEFA European Super Cup, which we won, and then there was the two legs of the Spanish Cup Super Cup. Oof, good strike there, and we won both legs. I think it was 10-2 on aggregate in the end, so very convincingly. So that's two trophies already. And we're in the Champions League. The next match is in the Champions League. I'm not sure who the opposition is. I haven't actually looked at the the group that we're in. Castro somehow didn't get it back. I thought you had. And that's a very good pass if he's not offside. Good tackle there. I was sure that was going to be a goal. Nice play by Mudrik. Gets in. Now Castro, oh, just a little bit uh, of a loose pass there from Castro. He's normally very good with his back to back to goal and playing those little passes. Here's Debushi, the regen, the youngster. Castro, oh, well blocked. Good tackle from Vieira, but they will get the throw. Let's just stop them taking it too quickly. I don't like how they're finding Cavani quite easily. Cutting through our midfield a little bit... Uh, yeah, just a bit too easily for my liking. Good play from, well, both gets an on Mudrik. And Mudrik couldn't quite get to the pass. Nice interception from Teixeira there. from Herrera. He has not been very good so far simply because he is really our, well he's our deepest lying midfielder and they've been cutting through us and um, one of his jobs is to, to stop that. 
Giobi now. What can he do? Giobi. Ah, straight to the keeper. Already easy star though. Very, very good player. Good tackle from Teixeira. That's not Hero's attempt to pass to at all, by the way. I don't think that was Gedson's fault. And they've cut us open again. But Gedson gets back. Nice tackle. Castro wants to deal with it again. Castro doesn't play very good ball. It's not like him. It's a bit scrappy in this game. Good tackle by Cosano. That's not a good pass from Vieira. Again, that's not a statement you hear very often. Nice black from Debushi. We just need to let this settle down and put some good passes together. Get a bit of possession. Quality possession. Get a good tackle. Not a good pass. Oh, what a save. How has Schubert saved that? I have no idea. That would have been a spectacular goal. Didn't want it to go in, but I would have admired it. Um, Cavani. Oh, just stuck out a hand. Strong hand. Yeah, Schubert. You can always rely on him. It doesn't... Um, Never really that busy. It's normally ourselves that's the most attacking threat. As you can see there, when he's needed, he can be relied upon. And there was no extra time there at all, so we'll jump into the second half. And I just had a quick look at the stats there. Valencia actually had the majority of the possession, 54%. That's not like ourselves. It's definitely been a bit of a an indifferent performance from us. Scored a very good goal, but apart from that, haven't done too much. Oh, Castro again with a poor pass. I'm not sure what's going on. Castro, though. <laughs> and he puts it all to right. 2 0. What a strike. Well, that silenced the crowd. Nice tackle, Castro wins it back and just slots it in the bottom right corner. Nice tackle from Herrera, I'm not sure he'll get the assist or not. Lovely strike though. Yeah, I don't know why Castro's passing has been a bit off today. He's normally so good at those little layoffs. Um, I think all round we've just been a bit poor. At the end of the day, we've got that goal that we needed to make it a little bit more comfortable. I don't know what the hell is happening there. And another good save from Schubert. That did feel a little bit scripted because it was bouncing all over the place. And I tackled him and somehow it still found its way to him. Yeah, it does feel like one of those moments. You do, you do get them. What's going on here? How many players do I need short? Here's Castro. Now Modric. Gets in. It's hard to tell who's... Well, no one's had a brilliant game over there. Oh, but he has Diaby in here, surely. Diaby. Oh, what a goal. Scores two games running. It's a nice pass, but at this stage, this is all Diaby. Lovely little footwork. Quick acceleration. And what a finish.
and this guy's looked quality in every match that he's played. Lovely curl and finish. Yeah, and we will make some subs very soon, probably in the next five minutes or so if possible. Yeah, it's, it is starting to feel like the ball is just go, being magnetised towards their players for some reason. Don't even know that's a, a real phrase that I just used there. GRB, nice play. And again, but he gets tackled, just trying to cut back inside. He's the bushy. Now DRB, look at that pace. Oh, and showing strength as well, but we'll make some subs now. Okay, so changes we're going to make. Fabio Vieira coming off for Lee Kang In, who's impressed me so far. We've got Martinelli coming on up top in place of Castro. And we've actually got a, a new boy, Bellarabi, who was in the youth squad. He's going to come on for DRB. Main reason is I think you get a little bit of a boost for young players once they played the first game. I believe that's correct. Crossing him in again. Yeah, I'm not sure about that. If they, I'm sure there's something about when one of your team players comes through and they play their first game. I think they get a trait. Or one of not the skills, I've forgotten what you call them. Um maybe that's a different version of pairs, or maybe I've just made it up completely. I have put him on the the loan list as well. Because he's um we only brought them through to make a little bit of money, really. Now, whether that's from a loan transfer fee or a full transfer fee, we'll have to wait and see. I mean, he looks like a very good player uh, for a regen. And here he is. But he's a right-footed right winger, which I'm um, not keen on myself. Bushy, somehow that's not a foul. It's very quick that Bellarabi, by the way. His acceleration and speed are probably fairly close to Diaby's. And for all that Mudrick's on and up, I haven't seen much of him today. Like I say, it's been a bit of an odd game performance-wise. Yeah, that wasn't who I was trying to pass to. Madrick, Martinelli. Nice ball to Lee Kang in. Oh, it keeps going. It's with his weaker foot, though. I was actually waiting for, for Martinelli to, to break free of his marker. Uh, never happened, so I thought I'd just go for the shot instead. Nice pass to Mudrick there. That's got to be a foul, and it is. No advantage. Stick share out now, Mudrick. Oof, very good ball. Maybe a tiny bit high. to get on top of that. I 
Good tackle from Martinelli. Oh, for God's sake. I'd say that's a, a tactical foul by them there. Here's Gedson. Nice little ball to Teixeira. There's no way Midgett was going to get through there. There's three defenders. I'm trying to force my way through almost. Oh, nice tackle from Balarabi. Oh, he's hit it wide. That was his chance to score on his debut. Would have been really nice, wouldn't it? It's been the first two league matches we played have not reflected the um, the Super Cup games that I've had. The three games where we were so dominant. Yeah, that's a free kick. Um, and I know the 2-1 win we had, we were actually pretty dominant in the last match and we it was just looked a lot closer than what it was, but we were scoring goals for fun in the other games. I'm sure he fell over before we even touched them there. Oh great, get a yellow card for that. Ridiculous. Oops, should have just let it go out maybe there. Come on, get some support, man. Here's my direct nice ball. Now Martinelli. And I don't even know how that's ended up there. That'll be full time, 3-0. Yeah, possession fairly even. They had a surprising amount of shots, and Schubert did put off a magnificent save, but we were well with the 3 0 win. Ratings wise, Castro gets man of the match again. Again, I wouldn't argue. Well, actually, I don't know. I think Diaby got the same rating. I would say he's probably man of the match. He's an absolutely outstanding player, and that goal he scored was brilliant. And the transfer window passed without any further incomings or outgoings. So we're now into the month of September. But there was a large gap between our last match and the next match, which is the Champions League. And that is against FC Midland. So that'd be a good way to start the Champions League campaign. Probably one of the easier matches you would expect. We'll have to wait and see. So join me for that one. Hit that like button. Drop a comment down below. And subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I'll see you next time. Cheers.